Oral health is a major cause of morbidity. It affects roughly 45 to 50 percent of the world's population and in its most severe form 11 percent. There are a huge number of diseases of the body that would present in the mouth. Skin diseases, for example, blistering conditions, HIV disease, pregnancy, a significantly increased risk of male infertility, as well as a variety of other bone disorders, metabolic disorders, etc. So, if you like, the mouth is acting as a window, it's, it's a sentinel, if you like, uh, of what is happening in other parts of the body frequently before they become visible in other parts of the body. Periodontitis, severe gum disease, is the sixth most common human disease and there's now really very significant evidence that severe periodontitis is a major risk factor for type 2 diabetes, uh, for the control of the diabetes and also for complications of diabetes, particularly cardiorenal complications. If you have two or more um, of these non-communicable diseases, then the impact is quite often greater than the sum of the parts. People with periodontitis, uh, when they eat or when they speak or when they brush their teeth, get a bacteremia. In other words, the bacteria that are colonizing underneath the, the gingival periodontal tissues, they enter the bloodstream through small microscopic ulcers. And once they get into the bloodstream, they can then fire off inflammation in other parts of the body. So it's a kind of an alarm signal designed to be protective. And if it was short-lived and acute, then it would serve as a protective alarm signal. But it's chronic. The, the, the bacteremia is happening time and time again over days, weeks, months, years uh, of the patient's life. And as a consequence, you have this chronic low-grade inflammation happening in the body in general. And that concept is regarded as disseminated inflammation, if you like. And we've looked at mortality in patients with chronic kidney disease. And what you find is that the mortality is significantly increased if they have periodontitis in addition to the chronic kidney disease. You find the same thing for people that have type 2 diabetes, but of course many of these patients are multi-morbid patients, they have all three. And when they have all three together, then at the end of 15 years there aren't actually that many left alive. One particularly important area at the moment is the health economic aspects of, of periodontitis and treating periodontal disease in diabetes patients could save around 128 million uh, to the UK economy and if we pick up pre-diabetes or diabetes early through patients having severe periodontal disease that could save another uh, 42 million. You know those are big numbers and big figures. Uh, and all it would require would be for physicians to re refer their patients with diabetes or even pre-diabetes to get them checked out by a dentist and if they've got periodontal disease have it treated and treated well. Um, and that's actually now starting to become part of a commissioning standard by, the, by NHS England in fact, uh, looking at how we can uh, contribute to the UK health economy by picking up periodontal disease, particularly in diabetes patients, and treating it.